Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at Dutch Goku's uh, Master Draft Tournament Run. Um, actually really was actually I really enjoyed watching Darkest Dave doing his Master Cup Tournament play but I didn't think the feedback was going to be so positive um, and that obviously there's a few negative comments too but that's quite all right everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But what I was surprised by is like how much people you know want to watch it, and and um, I'm happy about that. So I'm looking forward to covering uh, Dutch Goku's um, Master Draft Tournament content. Uh, his team consists of Macham, Lugia, uh, Magnazone, Dialga, Excadrill, and High Dragon. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the entire draft. So if we take a look at the entire draft. Um, so we covered. So we've seen the first round. We see the, like the very typical uh, Pokemon that we see in the. F in, I'm assuming that this is the order that they went in. Uh, Dutch Koku uh, picking Dialga, uh, which is arguably the best uh, overall um, uh, master master league uh, Pokemon. Uh, Togekiss, the best Charmer by far uh, in Masters. Uh, Tyranitar, a really great counter. Maybe picked a little bit too early. Um, Swampert, really good. Giratina, Origin Form, Dragonite, Snorlax, all really great. And then you move on to the second list. You have uh, Lugia, Lucario. Lucario picked really early. Interesting. Um, uh, Giratina, uh, Altered, uh, Latios, Metagross, Malmetal, Gyarados, uh, Machamp, Kyogre. Kyogre being picked up really early as well. Uh, Garchomp. Garchomp, a really, really nice pick. Uh, does lose to to some of the other dragons. Um that have Dragon Breath, uh, Mewtwo, Gardevoir, Heatran, really nice pick too, uh, Groudon, Hydreigon, we saw how well uh, Darkest David was able to, to use it, um, uh, Alolan Muck, Suicune, Rhyperior, well that's an interesting pick, um, Raikou, uh, Mewtwo, Armored Mewtwo, Zapdos, Magnezone, and then we get to like some spicy and interesting pick, that Excadrill, I'm interested in seeing if it's going to get any play, but let's go ahead and take a look. His first opponent is um, B. Toffer. Toffer, right? Like PH, like an F. Um, Topher? I don't know. Um, or B. Top. Okay, no, I shouldn't say that. That's a. It's probably too crude of a way of saying that. Um, Giratina, Origin Form, uh, Mamma Swine, uh, Raiko. Uh, Heracross, uh, Metagross, and Gardevoir. So let's see how how these two decide to to play it out. Um, obviously, Dialga has to be careful of a few Pokemon. Uh, gonna go Lugia into Gardevoir. Let's see. It is a Charm Gardevoir, um, which is probably better for Lugia uh, because not able to get to the Shadow Ball as quickly. Um, obviously, Charm's gonna hit for neutral. Uh, but Gardevoir is just not as tanky as, um, so switch out into Metagross, uh, a, the nice switch out, uh, from B top side and let's see if it's going to stay in. Interesting to see if it's going to stay in or not. Going to switch out into High Dragon. Like that meteor mash is so powerful. Um, one of the most energy efficient moves in the game. Um, I get this, this switch makes total sense because Gardevoir uh, with Charm is in, in the back, right? And you need Lugia for, for later on. Um, but I don't know, Double Shield made quite made sense. Probably could have tanked one of those. Um, let me see here. Well, here comes Gardevoir for sure. Absolutely deleting Hydreigon. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely brutal. Um, probably could have got away with, let me see here, uh, Metagross and... Um, Dragon Meteor Mash, what it did, 105 out of out of 178. So may or may not survive that. So this is not a particularly great situation for Gardevoir. Um, even though those charms are doing neutral damage and they do quite a bit, um, this Iron Head it does a lot. And then oh man, this is not looking good at all for Dutch Goku. Um, I don't know if that's the right play either. That's definitely not the right play. Uh, she definitely should have went for Shadow Ball. Um, I don't know if this Iron Head will KO. 
Nope, it will not. Oh my gosh, barely won. Uh, but B top Topher Toffer, uh, definitely making a mistake there, not going for the shadow ball in the close game scenario. I know, like, you feel a little rushed, but that was probably that was definitely not the right play. Uh, so gonna lead Magnazone, hoping to catch, you know, uh, catch the Metagross, catch the um, Gardevoir, but unfortunately ends up catching um, uh, Giratina Origin Form, which is not good. Uh, because like un unlike Giratina Altered Form, it has really strong ghost moves. It's shiny though, man. This shiny looks super nice. All right. Um, and interesting going into Gardevoir. Um, guess Gardevoir is weak to... or uh, uh, Magnezone is going to resist the charm, so probably a little bit better matchup there. Uh, but going to look to burn both shields. Uh, let's see if this Gardevoir decides to go with it. Uh, nope, it's gonna gonna get fainted down. Here comes Metagross. Uh, Metagross resisting these Dragon Breath. These Dragon Breaths are absolutely doing a ton of damage. Uh, gonna come in interesting. Oh, man, I don't know. I would have maybe become a Lugia. Um, it's a tough call. It's a very tough call. Maybe shield and then try to faint down. Uh, oh, okay. Went for the Earthquake. Uh, I think a Meteor Mash might have been enough to KO, even though it's double resisted. Magnezone, not the tankiest Pokemon. Um, I imagine I'm going to let this go. Oh, going for double Earthquake. Oh, wow. Okay. Jesus. Maybe this is a not, uh... All right. Um, this is going to be a very interesting... Matchup, uh, ominous win, and then gonna look to hit the sky attack, which is gonna do a decent chunk. Not gonna KO, gonna have to hit the second. Uh, well, maybe this is gonna be an um, is this a shadow ball? Yeah, it is a shadow ball. All right, not quite enough, man. Lugia, absolute tank, doesn't even bother doing the, the sky attack and taking. That particular round, I, I can't remember if they played two or three games. I think they played three games. I think is the. Um, all right, really interesting gameplay. Gonna gonna go with the Excadrill. <laughs> Let's see, man. Okay, uh, catches the desirable lead. Uh, actually, a couple of them would be okay. Metagross would be okay. Raikou would be okay, and um, uh, uh, that's probably it. Going to go Rock Slide. Um, doing these mud slaps. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely disgusting. That's, that's awesome. Probably Shield here, and then going to farm down. The Shadow Ball. Um, oh, my gosh. Left with almost no health left. Going to Drill Run. Not able to Drill Run. Uh, a little bit too slow there. Gonna go Dialga into this Giratina. And then here comes Metagross. And here comes Lugia in response. Gonna look to land. And not a great situation for, for Lugia. Uh, can tank this Meteor Mash. Lugia is just the second bulkiest Pokemon in in all of uh, Pokemon Go. So, And gonna shield. Uh, gonna look to bait, but not in a particularly great situation. And then looking to land this hydro pump. And let's see how this plays out between. Actually, that doesn't even KO, which is probably better. Oh, okay. The gear team is not playing around. Gonna go ominous win. And matched up against Dialga is not great. Gonna look to Draco Meteor. Um, see if there's a Shadow Ball. It is a Shadow Ball. And gonna look to. Definitely could just Iron Head uh, and recognizes that. And gonna take it out. Iron Head, an okay move. Oh my gosh. Earthquake. Nice play. Nice play. Gonna take the third match. Um. Yeah, but uh, Dutch Goku taking the round. Next opponent is going to be Doc 
Dr. R. Dave or Dr. Dave. I don't know which one it is. Um, using Swampert, Weavile, Hariyama, Latios, Mewtwo, and Rhyperior. Uh, so going to go High Dragon into Latios. A pretty interesting matchup of Dragon Breath users. Going to switch out into Dialga. Um, going to go into the dedicated Dialga counter of Hariyama. Hariyama is, uh, is fairly tanky as a fighting Pokemon. Um, obviously not going to appreciate uh, see if shield comes up shield comes up could dragon breath down man this just shows you like how even like counters are oh man Dialga is just so good it's a uh, stat product is amazing and uh, it's typing is awesome too even though the typing definitely doesn't help it and with dragon breath being just such an oppressive move especially in masters gonna come in with uh, Lugia, uh, gonna get probably hit by two Dragon Claws. No, nope, gonna switch out into Rhyperior. Oh my gosh! Okay, this Rhyperior, <laughs> Jesus, but not Rhyperior, not good without shields. Gonna get absolutely melted. Um, yeah, that is awful. I expect no shields. Oh, actually, no. Sh okay, shields comes up. That's fine too. Um, Gonna land this sky attack uh, to finish off uh, this Latios. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, Lugia, Lugia standing strong. Really effective uh, Lugia gameplay, man. Lugia just insanely tanky. Like, Lugia 256 defense and 197 stamina at level 40. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely it's it's stat product is eight three one eight versus Metagross, which is also a really good Pokemon. Um, six six eight eight. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely insane. And look, yeah, a pretty good uh, move set. Um, obviously, like it, it's kind of uh, it was kind of overshadowed by Giratina. The Giratina's coming out, but man, it's still super amazing. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, gonna go. Uh, well, that must be a SmackDown version. Okay, gonna go into Lugia. Lugia, man. Lugia, Dialga. Really great pairing. That Dynamic Punch almost gonna do nothing. Man, you gotta double move your Hariyama if you wanna. You gotta come in with like Heavy Slam or something. You definitely can't go Dynamic Punch. That's double resisted. Oh my gosh. Maybe this is only a single move Hariyama. Gonna look to farm it all the way down, recognizing that these dynamic punches are absolutely doing nothing to it. And gonna look to farm down and have 100 energy. Oh man, I don't know if I would have necessarily gone this far, um, but you know, it's all right. 100 energy, and you take out a Pokemon is is pretty pretty awesome. And I imagine gonna sky attack right away. Oh no, gonna hydro pump. Oh. And gonna look to switch out into High Dragon. Um, probably a, a Surf, to be honest. So felt a little early for. It's a uh, eight energy per Smackdown, so five, well, maybe enough to get to Stone Edge would have been pretty, pretty bad situation. And then this one, they're just gonna Dragon Breath, all the way down. And then Dialga's going to come in and just Dragon Breath down. Oh, we're going to come with Lugia. Interesting. Uh, man, Lugia's tankiness is absolutely insane. And, man, putting a lot of pressure on. In a very good situation right now, though. Um, Dra Dragon Claw is neutral because of uh, Dialga's uh, steel typing. Which is why it makes it such an amazing uh, Master League Pokemon. It still does a decent chunk. Um, you de definitely can't sleep on these Pokemon, but. GG. Um, taking, taking that round, I think they're going to play a third match. Man, I can't believe we saw Excadrill. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, really liking this Dialga. Um, Lugia combination 
I mean, I guess, like, Lugia also running this, like, double week to Harayama um, situation, but uh, having Lugia as a, as a ability to farm down, farm the Harayama. Okay, so not a great situation right now. Uh, could stay in, which is looks like it's what's happening. And man, that is crazy. Like, how much does... Is that really how this matchup goes? Is Dragon Breath just absolutely doing a ton of damage? It loses the one shield. So Hariyama should win the one shield. Oh, wow. It does... It's supposed to get to it, like, with very minimal HP left. Wow, that's a little surprising. Oh man, these psycho cuts are doing absolutely nothing to Dialga. Half of Mewtwo's health gone. Gonna go into Lugia. Uh, could be Shadow Ball, could be um, uh, Ice Beam. Ends up being Shadow Ball. And here comes Rhyperior. Man, Rhyperior with absolutely no shields left. Super vulnerable. Gonna get Hydro Pump. Man, how many times is that Hariyama? No, that right, right here, you're gonna get Hydro Pump. Gonna look to land this uh, Sky Attack. A little, little bit of visual glitch, um, <laughs> which uh, a little bit unfortunate, but it really doesn't matter. I don't even know if the Shadow Ball is gonna KO um, this Lugia. We're talking about like one of the highest attack stat Pokemon in all of Pokemon Go, not able to take out Lugia with a super effective Shadow Ball. That's crazy. All right. Uh, next up is, um, well, that is not the same name, but let's see if this is the same. They have the same Pokemon. Okay. That's so weird. I am Black Metal is called something else. Um, this Dragon Breath, even though Double Resisted, is absolutely mauling this this Grand Bull. This is, actually makes no sense. Um Dialga just coming in with this and this is probably going to be a crunch and looks to burn both shields wow really okay I guess I, it makes sense like Grand Bull is such um, let's see here yeah Dialga losing two shields coming in uh, Groudon to farm down here comes man unless you're carrying Fire Blast like you really have, don't have much recourse and here comes High Dragon. Man, Drill Pack, Ancient Power, uh, Drill Pack, and gonna go back to back. Gonna have to shield. Um, gonna put a lot of pressure onto this uh, Zapdos. Um, and here comes a Dark Pulse. Man, I guess if you're I am Black Metal or whatever his in-game name is. Oh, man, I don't know. I think you got to bank that in. The switch window is probably going to come up pretty soon. Going to look to farm down. Um, Fire Blast? Earthquake. Oh, my gosh, no. I guess has like that's the... I don't know if that's better or worse than uh, Solar Beam. Going to get Hydro Pumped. Wow, okay. Um, Thunderbolt? This Thunderbolt's not even going to KO. Wow, okay. Lugia, man. Lugia is crazy Master League pick. Man, if you're not picking up Lugia in the first or second round, you are definitely missing out. This double Dragon Strat is super interesting. Even in the face of, like, Grand Ball... I don't know, this. All right, gonna go. Not is not a good situation at all. But sticking with it, trusting Dialga. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Earthquake. Um. Gonna look to Iron Head. This is not gonna KO Groudon. Groudon's pretty tanky. It doesn't need to shield this per se, but. I guess might need to shield it in order to get to this second earthquake. 
and gonna be able to dragon breath down this uh, Groudon. Oh man, it was super, pretty close. Here comes Grand Ball. Man, this Grand Ball is gonna have to eat two Iron Heads. That's a, there's such a huge drop off in terms of charm users once you get once you get away from Togekiss. Um, the stat spread is just way too wide. And oh my gosh, that's just, yeah, not in a great situation. Uh, gonna get hit by a multiple drill pecs here, but it really doesn't matter. Hit by another one. Uh, but is gonna be able to probably get to this. Um, oh, maybe, 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 maybe not. Nope. Doesn't matter though, Lugia is so tanky. Um, and I'm pretty sure it has, yeah, it's Dragon Breath, a uh, Dragon Tail. It's just not gonna be enough. Like, Thunderbolt is not enough. And this is like so different than um, in like in, in Great League. Like, uh, these Pokemon are just so much tankier. Wow, that was nuts. Able to take that round, even though catching the lead, man, Dialga in two shields, just that sheer Dragon Breath damage is 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 absolutely uh, nuts. Wow. Okay. Going Lugia into this Groudon, not a good situation. I expect to switch out and switch out into Grand Bull, but again, like Grand Bull, like. Unless you get, unless you pick up Togekiss, and then you pick up Gardevoir, then it's it's almost not even worth it to have a, a Charm user in um, in Masters. Gonna go Crunch, and should be able to farm up quite a bit because it's not carrying uh, extra Sentry. These Dragon Breaths are uh, Dragon Tails are being double resisted. Oh, gonna double. Okay, it's definitely not the right move. Just the energy different, the energy gain difference is so different between uh, Charm and Dragon Tail. Gonna switch out into oh here comes Guard Chomp, uh, Groudon. Gonna go for this Iron Head and then probably gonna let it go afterwards. Oh man, D oh got the shield okay. Um, okay, not gonna let it go. I definitely would have let it go. Um, save that shield for later. Because this earthquake is definitely gonna, it's gonna, definitely going to beat you to earthquake, even though it's uh, twenty five more energy. It's just way faster energy generation. Gonna come in with uh, not able to get off that earthquake. That was so critical. Here comes drill pack. Able to get to this dark pulse. And, ooh, this is going to be close. Um, this is going to KO or no? No. And able to take it out. Man, high dragon. Ooh, double dragon strat is very awesome. All right, next opponent is going to be TBF IV. I'm not sure why I only include IV in the name, but whatever. Um... Very interesting team. Has the best Charmer in the game. Um, ooh, this is a pretty interesting matchup. So in Great League, this is like a very uh, close matchup. I think uh, Megazone gets this one if it lands the bait. Um, it needs to bait there, though. Um, yeah. You can't just straight up go in these... Oh, switch out to Extra Sentry for that for Lucario and Venusaur. Really nice uh, change. Um, that's a, that's well, nice subtle, subtle, but definitely makes a difference. Uh, Lucario can tank this just barely. Um, ooh, if this is Shadow Ball, it's still gonna survive. Um, but good shield. A little bit of lag. Gonna go, oh man, got a little too greedy there. 
and gonna man that yeah got a little too greedy there um let's see if it ends up causing him in the match at all though here comes Venusaur uh, I wouldn't shield it's probably gonna be a sludge bomb or oh, frenzy plant wow okay that is definitely a mistake gonna go Kyogre and then I expect the media to switch out into Dialga. Oh no, into Magnazone. That makes sense too. And gonna switch out. Hydro Pump. Oh man, that did a lot. But. Um, Dutch Goku able to take it out. That change from Dragon Tail to Extra Century was um was really nice. Gonna go Lugia Magnazone. Really wants his Magnazone for the Kyogre and Togekiss, presumably. Able to catch the lead. This is a pretty big let's see what the safe swap is into. Lucario. Nah, man, not a great safe swap. I would have thought like uh, a Lolan Muck, uh, especially with Snarl, would have been better as a safe swap. As a safe swap, because what does it lose hard to if it has Snarl? Uh, I guess High Dragon maybe, uh, but still has some counterplay, especially if you run like Snarl, Sludge Wave, and in Dark Pulse, and no Acid Spray. Uh, shielded that boosted. Uh, uh, yeah, boosted a uh, Shadow Ball. All right, let's see what's coming in. Kyogre, gonna switch into Magnazone. Here comes the switch out into Venusaur. Gonna go for the Flash Cannon. See if this Venusaur decides shield or not. Uh, no shield. Oh man, that's huge. Um, not gonna shield. Barely gonna survive. Barely gonna survive. I'm gonna get off this wild charge. Man, I wasn't a big fan of Magazine Shiny, but it looks not bad. It looks not bad in battle. Um, and then it doesn't really matter. This matchup's pretty much over. Uh, doesn't need to shield. Uh, both of them are resisted. This is double resisted. Oh man, I guess both of them are double resisted. So not a great situation. And here comes Kyogre. Gonna put up the shield. Uh, probably a Thunder. Hydro Pump. Man, no second move on this thing. Um, gonna go for the Draco Meteor. Oh, man. That is not good at all. Okay, well, nice play. Man, I, th I think Alolan Muck is the right answer. Obviously, Alolan Muck has to worry about Excadrill. Um, has to worry... a. Uh, about about Machamp, I guess, and but let's see here. Able to beat Magnezone though. I don't know. Okay, uh, this is not one of those situations. Is this a snarl or I can't really tell. There's so much. It looks like Poison Jab, uh, which is definitely. Not the move set that you want. It gets a team that has has uh, three steel types. Yeah, not not the, not the correct move set. Gonna go with Lucario. Gonna switch out into Lugia, and double switch into Togekiss. Ooh, this is interesting though. It's gonna be interesting round three or third match. Uh, just because Lucario is going to be really good against, and this extra sensory definitely helps out with the Togekiss matchup. Togekiss by far the best charmer in Masters. Some would say the only charmer in Masters, not like literally, but the the one that actually performs functionally the best. Oh man, not able to get off that Sky Attack. Gonna shield. And gonna look to 
Oh my gosh, this is so risky. So little health left on this Lugia. And gonna double sky attack. Oh my gosh, why didn't he click sky attack? Uh, probably gonna lose this matchup now, actually, to be honest. Yeah, definitely gonna lose this match. Well... Yeah, uh, well, it was going to lose it anyway, so even if it hit the sky attack, uh, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, it was going to faint down anyways. Uh, super close there. Um, GG. Uh, now moving on to, what is this, round number four against VLF. Sorry for that, and my uh, phone was ringing, so let's... Uh, gonna go against VLFPH. Uh, gonna switch uh, leading Machamp into the Steelix. Oh, the Ice Beam it actually does quite a bit of damage to um, to High Dragon from Suicune. Nice, nice Muset, Muset play. And let's see if it goes Double Ice Beam or Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam. Oh man, crazy bait. That's actually not good for this High Dragon. Um, another Bubble Beam. Effectively making this High Dragon pretty useless. And here comes. Oh my gosh. Got the dull. Oh man. Got the switch. What the heck? Wow, okay. Yeah, wow, that was, that was uh, pretty nutty. Wow, that was bad. That was bad. Obviously, Dialga is going to... Um, actually, Dialga loses to Steelix. Wow, okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. Uh, a little bit of lag. Gonna get to this iron head. Definitely should have switched out to to Machamp earlier. Good luck to burn this last shield, but you definitely don't shield this. And just looking to chunk away though, man. Earthquake. And, man, not going to be enough, though. Well, I don't know if there's another earthquake. It is. Wow. Jesus, man, even after that massive misplay, um, able to 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 win out that match. Really, oh, good job on VLFPH's side. Probably shouldn't have went to High Dragon um, and should have just went uh, straight for it. Gonna go High Dragon into his Giratina. Not a great matchup for. Well, it looks like okay. Um, obviously, gonna have to hit it. Let's see, Ancient Power. Oh no, Dragon Claw. What am I talking about? Dragon Claw, of course. What am I talking about? That's that was a dumb comment by me. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking like uh, it like resistance to Dragon. That's a stupid thing. It just resist the Shadow Claw. And gonna get hit by another Dragon Claw. Gonna go for the shield, interesting. And gonna look to burn this last shield or take switch advantage. And just barely gets it off before this, uh, yeah, before Garatina is able to take it out. Gonna come back in with Dialga. Man, Dialga with no shields. Super, super dangerous, but I'm going to switch out into Machamp. Let's see what's in the back. It's going to be Suicune. Uh, man, Suicune, no Hydro Pump, though, and resistance to Snarl is going to hurt it for sure. Oh, man, that's going to be close, though. Oh, man, I, I don't think that's the right play. I think you got to go double Ice Beam. 
I don't know, like, um, oh, man, that is a very costly mistake. Oh man, definitely not rock slide. I think that was like one of those like phantom rock slide things. Um, it's still gonna do a lot, man. And this Dialga has energy and can survive an earthquake. Oh my gosh, Jesus! Doesn't he necessarily? Yeah, this earthquake is not gonna be enough. Oh man. Oh, oh, but uh, I think they lagged on this on this match, which is why they replayed it later on. Uh, I don't know. He said something about replaying. I thought it was the third match, though. Hmm. I think they do replay it. Um, I, I honestly don't know. Um. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. This ice beam, I'm going to be able to Dragon Breath down. Burn both shields, though. Oh, man, that is... Not a great situation. And Steelix, man. Steelix coming really clutch, man. That's why Steelix typing is so good in um, in this draft format. Going to go for another Dark Pulse. Steelix is pretty tanky as well. Machamp for sure. Gonna get Earthquake. Gonna be able to survive this Earthquake, though. But has quite a bit, bit of energy built up. Here comes Giratina. Oh, yeah. This is not good at all. I think the way they do this draft is they, like, rack up points. So even though I think Dutch Koku lost this round, he's not really lost. It's like they get, like, a certain amount of points for winning the series. And anyways, I'm sure one of them is going to say... Because this is definitely going to be in uh, in uh, VLF uh, PH is favor. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, okay. And let's see. Oh, man, I don't know. I think you go rock slide there to bait. Still able to faint it down though. Risky plays, risky plays. Uh, I think this is the rematch of of that match we just saw. I do think VLF PH won that, but look, they they probably had some lag or something. I don't know. Gonna switch out into High Dragon. Gonna get hit by this ice beam, and gonna go for the dark pulse. I guess no Lugia in this team because Electivire, Tyranitar, Garatina, and even Suicune with um, Snarl and Ice Beam. Gonna Bubble Beam. And let's see if VLF decides to shield or not. No shield. Probably going to come with Steelix. Going to farm down. Oh, man. Just barely able to get off this Dark Pulse, but it is a uh, reduced attack Dark Pulse. Still does a decent amount. Going to come in Macham. Going to look to Earthquake. Could bait with Crunch, but... 
switch out into Giratina, switch out into Dialga with no shields though, not a great situation. And going to look to apply a lot of pressure on this on this gear on, on this Dialga. Going to go for the Iron Head. I think VLF is going to win this pretty decisively. Yeah, yeah. Going to hit this rock slide. Oh, no, not able to get off. Man, that, that's, that can be pretty huge, actually. Man, maybe you want to consider farming. I don't know. Here comes Steelix. Steelix, not enough, though. Going to go for this rock slide and take it out. So still going to win the rematch. Wow, okay, really, that's kind of a surprising result. To be honest, um, but GG. All right, gonna move on to the next opponent, uh, which is gonna be Yauza three, uh, rocking Heatran, Clefable, Dragonite, Blaziken, Malmetal, and Armored Mewtwo. Um, I don't know, Clefable's could be decent i don't know it's just these uh charmers in, unless they yeah they're just so underwhelmed even though even double resisted dragon breath is uh is still putting on a ton of damage um and gonna be able to land one more heavy slam not heavy slam iron head actually iron head and heavy slam are identical stats for some reason um, gonna look to charm down and then hit whatever's coming in next. Unfortunately, this is Excadrill, which does not care. Yeah, man, it just laughed at that. It's resisting these charms, but charms are still doing quite a bit. Um, we'll see what comes in. Here comes, he oh my gosh, oh, this is nasty. Why would you come in? He ran. <laughs> Does he have Melmetal in the back? He has Dragonite in the back. Why wouldn't he come in Dragonite? Dragonite obviously would have got hit by... Um... Yeah, well, this is not great either way, but... Let's see. No shield. Dragon Claw. Man, just doing a laughable amount of damage. Not going to shield. Going to Sky Attack. And I assume that he switches Lugia back to Dragon Tail. Yeah, back to Dragon Tail. The subtle moveset changes. I know some people don't like the fact that they're using TMs and all that stuff, but I like this. The subtle moveset changes definitely flip some matchups. Okay, able to take the first match, man. I don't know. Maybe it would have been a little. Obviously, uh, um. Heatran would have got Hydro Pump, but it certainly wouldn't have KO'd Heatran. I'm pretty sure not. I don't know these matchups as, as well, but I would be very surprised if it one shot Heatran. Does 124 of 177. And Rock Slide would hurt, don't get me wrong, but it wouldn't do as much. Man, this is such a bad matchup. Oh man, this is not a great matchup for Armored Mewtwo. Even though it looks like a steel type, it is not a steel type. PSA, not a steel type. Um, obviously, it has dynamic punch. Um, so, like, obviously, that would do a decent amount, but it, would, it wouldn't it would even KO at that range. And just going to get farmed down. Ah, that was nasty. Going to go Heatran. Going to go switch into Excadrill. Man. Man, these mudslaps are absolutely decimating this Heatran. Um, Iron Head. I don't know. Switch, switch to. Uh, man, do you even need to go for the drill run? To be honest. Oh my gosh. 
up two shields to zero. Uh, unless he has outrage, outrage. Man, tell me you you have your dragonite double moved. No way, you just have dragon claw. No, <laughs> yes. no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is actually showing mercy by doing these. Yeah, not. I, mean, I definitely wouldn't have even done a charge move. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, like, have Outrage? Outrage is probably, uh, Outrage would have did. Outrage is, against Lugia, is 1.23 DP versus uh, 0.97 for Dragon Claw. So definitely would have won that uh, matchup. Um, Wow, okay. Okay, interesting matchup. Um, obviously, Heatran resisting these uh, Dragon Tails and resisting, gonna resist the Sky Attack. Uh, can tank the. Oh man, that Stone Edge did a lot. And let's see if this Heatran decides to shield. Does decide to shield. Oh man, this is not good. Uh, Iron Head and this Hydro Pump still won't KO. This Heat Train is going to put it pretty low, uh, but won't KO. Well, enough to. <laughs> I guess that's like pretty much a KO. Gonna go Mal Metal, and this uh, Mal Metal is gonna have to tank this Sky Attack, which is not gonna do a ton. Mal Metal is actually a decent stat product in Masters compared to it's so squishy in great league here comes excadrill oh my gosh this excadrill no what the heck are you gonna hit this excadrill with no don't don't waste the flash cannon yeah this is not great oh, man i don't know using armored mewtwo against tri triple steel lineup is and like man i get it that dynamic punch is nice coverage but you're gonna see, watch, this dynamic punch is gonna come and it's it's gonna do probably about half, 60%, 60%, like it's like, these Pokemon are such monsters, like. And. Ooh, I don't know if I would have done that per se. It's it's pretty much over though. This Excadrill, such a nice pick against this team. Beats Heatran, beats Clefable. Man, really nice team composition uh, on Dutch Goku's side. Wow. Okay, impressive, impressive. And able to, I think he won the tournament overall. I think he did have one series loss. He'll let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, but if you guys like this Masters content, let me know uh, by giving this video a thumbs up, a like. Uh, don't forget to comment below on what was your favorite matchups, which Pokemon were you impressed by. I was actually pretty impressed by, by Excadrill and really effective use of using Lugia plus these double dragons. So really nice team composition, really nice play on Dutch Goku's side. Definitely going to see more of the play, and we all want to see Dutch Goku against Darkest David. I think that would be a really... I think they're going to be, after this season, they're going to be in the same pool. Uh, so you're going to see them play against each other, and that should be should be a pretty, pretty awesome matchup. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Again, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.